This is our 1993 Catalina 30, hole number 6220. She's been in the yard for quite some time, so there's a few things that need to be done. So before you get off the dock for the first time, there's some things you should do to ensure proper running. Such as changing the oil and the oil filters, cleaning out and changing the old fuel filters and replacing them. Also went ahead and took out the raw water pump impeller and replaced that. This cools the engine with raw water. You don't want this breaking up on you. We had a leak in our electric fuel pump, so we went ahead and changed that as well. Checked the belt tension on the engine and uh, tightened it a bit. We had a pretty dirty air filter covered in oil and soot, so we went ahead and replaced that as well. We checked the charge on our current batteries. These weren't holding too much of a charge, so we replaced these as well. We replaced the strainer on our raw water intake. We ensured that our dinghy outboard was working properly, cleaned out the carb, changed the spark plugs, changed the lower unit oil. Most importantly, we ensured that our bilge pump was properly working. While she was out of the water, we put a new barrier coat on the bottom, as well as a new bottom paint. To reduce UV damage on the hull, we buffed the hull with a buffing compound and wax. And also, we checked the overall condition of our sails. This is best done in light wind, or else you'll be battling these sails. Now we enter the interior of the boat. Definitely needs a good clean down. Since she's been sitting for a while, it's easy to uh, find out any leaks that have been occurring and just mark down where the leaks are happening to be assessed for future repairs. Also went ahead and checked the port lights or for any leaks or uh, gaps in between the port light. Going back topside, we now have to address the running rigging. Check all lines. You also want to go ahead and check all deck hardware. See if everything is working all properly. You don't want any of this failing out in the water. I found out that the roller furler leads had broken off while rolling up the uh, jib. I'm guessing this is happening because of uh, UV damage over time. This can make the rolling up the jib a lot harder. I had to move all the way forward to roll it up to secure it. Then I went ahead and I inspected the anchor. This is one of the most important tools you have on your boat. It can save you in a hard time. So I took out all the chain in the road and I faked it out onto the dock. It's made it a lot easier to inspect any damage that had occurred or just the overall condition. It's important to check the rigging, the cracks that may be in your rigging. You don't want any of this failing out on you. Notice that I need to put some rigging tape on each rigging so I don't cut myself on the cotter pins while walking by. The traveler line had been removed. This definitely needs to be replaced. So I went ahead and I replaced the traveler line, ensured that it was working properly. Little things that I noted were some damage to the gel coat and the non-skid, as well as some wood damage that occurred in this little compartment off to the side. Checked all the running rigging and the lines. Checked to see if any lines needed to be replaced due to chafe. While the anchor locker was cleared out, I figured this was a good time to clean out the anchor locker. Then while the bucket and the soap was out, I figured this was a good time to clean down the deck. It's crazy how one task just leads to the next. This led to just an overall cleaning of the entire boat. Then I had the deck cleaned down and I figured this was a good time to preserve it from any UV damage. So I waxed the top side. I also figured no one's gonna wanna go out on a dirty boat, so I might as well clean the inside as well. Right now, she's starting to really come around, looking so much better than when I first put her in the water. There are so many things that you need to do to the boat always, but the goal is to actually just have it in usable condition because this is actually what you really want to be using the boat. You don't want to be just working on the boat, you want to get out there and do this. So as long as I maintain it in working order, we can make repairs over time while still getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. Now comes the time to organize my thoughts. After assessing the entire boat, I began to make a list of things that need to be repaired. After you make your list, you start to prioritize which things need to be repaired first. You can either put numbers, one through three, or you can color code it. However it is, just organize the thought. Things can be repaired in terms of importance, time, money. Just things aren't ever gonna get done unless you organize your thoughts. I also took some time to organize and inventory every single item that I had so that I don't go out and buy that fifth roll of painter's tape when I know I have some already laying around. Next, it leads to the important things that need to be bought. I went ahead and I bought some roller furler leads for the line of my roller furler. Bought some lines that needed to be replaced and I found some stuff that I could use for the repairs that I had laying around. You gotta help me put this away. So like, you're gonna you help trap me. me. <laughs> yeah, here. It's gonna take two seconds, here. Get 
getting some gnats up in here. One of the most important steps is securing your boat properly. If you don't do this, all the effort you do putting into the boat will be just gone to waste. I put some chafing gear on the mooring lines. I also had access to this mooring ball that hasn't been used over some time. I wasn't sure the condition is, so I went down and I dove on the mooring ball and checked the gear. This is probably some of the worst visibility that I've experienced. At times it was no greater than a foot. But I did my best and I felt pretty confident after looking at it. I could see cotter pins securing the gear. The gear was pretty thick as well. It seemed like it was in overall good condition. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and follow along as we make this boat the best that we can. Oh man. Yeah, this is a nice. Oh, is this? Oh, what the shark? Yeah. Big size dogfish, though. How's it look, though? It's looking clean. Looking better? Oh, yeah. It smells like shit still. <laughs>